My last video was a guide on how to play the Panda A. I hope I was able to give you some tips to improve your gameplay. In this video I want to show some situations where I didn't use my recommended tips and therefore got destroyed. Get ready to watch me fail in the Panda A. Welcome to my new video. The first match we have a look at was at a BR 6.0, so almost a downtill match and I actually can use the armor of the Panda A against some enemies, but I want to pick those fights wisely. The map is Machino Line and luckily we only have to care about one capture point, so at least no driving simulation in this match. Although it is close to a downtill match I still want to play as support. So I use the mobility of the Panda A and move right to the position where regularly the fast enemies show up on this map to spawn camp. And of course there is a fast wheeled boy. I wasn't able to take out the player in one shot and he is trying to flank me or to get away. With the good gun of the Panda A I don't have to aim precisely to take out the enemy with a follow up shot. I used the ground in front of me as solid cover and the binoculars to detect enemies. Doing so I am able to take out a Jumbo and try to get my gun on another hostile tank that is also fighting my teammates at the capture point. But the bouncy gun handling of the Panda A gives the player enough time to get behind solid cover. So I decide to relocate and attack the other enemy I detected earlier with the binoculars. In this situation I didn't double check the tank before I left the solid cover and I thought it was only a T3485. But it was an IS-2 that can penetrate the Panda A from the front easily. Know your enemies and pick your fights wisely while playing the Panda A. This match is at a BR 6.3 and almost a full up tier match. On this map I decide to use my support route where I need some armor and move right to my first key position. I wasn't able to detect an enemy after I got there and therefore decided to relocate and check if it is safe to move to the second key position on this route. One of my teammates is already in the middle of a fight so I want to help him and this is where I made a mistake. I recommend to use solid cover with the Panda A and only peek and boom when it is safe to do so. The Panda A has a horrible reverse speed and you can't back up fast if needed. In this situation I didn't care to protect my tank with solid cover and just stayed in the open without cover. Of course at some point my track and transmission got destroyed and finally the whole tank. The last match we have a look at is on White Rock Fortress. Again almost a full downtime match, so what could possibly go wrong with the Panda A? I still play as a port and usually I push the capture point A on this map. I take the long way around also to ensure that no enemy is trying to sneak up my teammates from this side of the map. This spot here is a bit critical since the enemy can have a clear sight on your tank, but you can also fight enemies that either approach A or that are focused on your teammates. But you want to have some armor to bounce shots when you move to this position. After taking out my first enemy, I got greedy and wanted to destroy that walker bulldog as he runs away from me. The Panda A has no useful side armor, especially not against the Russian ammunition. Make sure not to expose your weak side armor and always adjust your front plate towards the enemy. I hope I was able to give you some tips on how not to play the Panda A. Like, subscribe and leave a comment if you want to and check out my discord server for more information and to connect with other players. Hope to see you in game soon.